D, breaking news. Justice is served, but the pain remains fresh. The man who killed five people at the Capital Gazette newspaper is sentenced. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Welcome to WJC News at 4 and to those of you who are streaming on CBS in Baltimore. Jared Ramos will spend the rest of his life behind bars with no chance for parole. WJC is live outside the courthouse in Annapolis. Ava Joy Burnett has the emotional reaction for family members and survivors. Ava Joy. Good afternoon. While well, some of the family members and even reporters who were in the newsroom on that day got up and spoke inside the courtroom today, one of the reporters defiantly told the shooter, I fought to live that day and I will never stop fighting. Justice was served today when Jared Ramos was sentenced to five life without parole sentences. The man who pleaded guilty in the Capitol Gazette mass shooting finally learned his fate in court. He will spend the rest of his life in prison in the killing of Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters. It brings us solace that the person that took her from us will never breathe freedom again. Family members spoke up about their loss in court. She didn't see me graduate college. My mom's missing out on every big event in my life. But I'm here for this big event in her afterlife. And Wendy was here with us. Reporter Celine Sanfelice hid under a desk during the 2018 shooting and eventually escaped. She got a moment to face the shooter. It meant a lot to me to be able to tell him to his face that he failed. During the three-week trial earlier this year, prosecutors argued that the shooter methodically planned the attack and that he even locked the doors from the outside so that the victims couldn't get out. Photojournalist Paul Gillespie narrowly escaped that day as a gunshot blew past his head. I think we couldn't have asked for a better outcome today. State's attorney Ann Coltlitis and her team said the defendant had a grievance with the newspaper after a story they wrote up about him. They argued that he decided to attack the Capitol Gazette's employees after he lost a series of lawsuits against the paper. Their loss is is a wound in our community and um, we just have to do everything we can to make sure it doesn't happen to anybody else. The shooting was widely seen as an attack against the free press, but survivors pledged to continue to fight for the First Amendment. And press on Annapolis, Capital Gazette. Now, the sentencing today came exactly three months after the unveiling of the Guardians of the First Amendment Memorial here in Annapolis. You can see it right over here, over my shoulder. And it's, it was in honor of the five victims who died about three years ago at the Capitol Gazette newsroom. Now, coming up on WJZ at 5, we're going to hear more from the state's attorney. Hear what she said the shooter did as he was leaving the courtroom earlier today. Back to you guys. Arbitrary, thank you. And earlier today, Governor Hogan shared this reaction on Twitter to the sentence saying, Justice has been served. While we hope this brings some measure of closure to the families, the pain of that horrible day will always be with us. Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters are forever in our hearts. And Adam Elder County Executive Stuart Pittman released this statement saying, and I quote, our criminal justice system worked. Thank you to all of the first responders, arresting officers, detention officers, court employees, and prosecutors in the state's attorney's office. You have made our community safer and helped to restore balance to those to the lives of those closest to our five beloved truth tellers. Again, Gerald Fishman, Rob Hyacin, John McNamara, Rebecca Smith, and Wendy Winters.